2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The buzz is building from the sports crazed town of Boston, Massachusetts. The Spurs taking on the Celtics. For the Spurs, gaining momentum as we reach the midway point. Tonight, another chance to put the league on notice. They're coming. Celtics, Spurs, coming up next, right after this. So happy to have you here for a midweek edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This should be an intriguing contest. Along with Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, this is Brian Anderson. And we've got our reporter, Allie LaForce. Here's the starting group for the San Antonio Spurs. Vassell and Johnson are the two of the three. Victor Wimbanyama is out there with Zach Collins. And it's Payne in at the point. And for the Celtics, Malcolm Brogdon out there with Delano Benton. Then there's Al Horford, then there's Peyton Pritchard, and it's Porzingis in at the center, filling out the middle. Some coaches are proponents of limiting players' minutes at this stage of the season. Where are you on that? I'm not a big fan of it. I, I think if you're a healthy player, you should try and play. Um, you know, you can lower a guy's minutes. You can say, hey, I'm only going to play you 20 minutes tonight and just live with those 20 minutes versus having him sit out. Sometimes you have to train to run a marathon. I don't see guys getting injured less now than they did 15 years ago when they started this. San Antonio with the ball, following the bucket by the Celtics. Brockton against Johnson from eight feet. Rebounded by the Celtics. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Porzingis. From the wing. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. See, this is what analytics don't take into account. Some guys thrive in the mid-range. Really depends on the shooter. It's actually kind of lazy. Now here's Wimbanyama. You know, his stats have been solid. Averaging around 18 and a half points a game. Six to shoot. Here's Collins. Porzingis grabs the board. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense bad. Richard, when you look at the makeup of the San Antonio Spurs, they do possess some impressive talent. And it's not just talent, it's young talent, B.A. This is a squad that continues to accumulate some very nice pieces, and of course it helps when you get the number one pick in Victor Webanyama. Johnson passes to Collins. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Oh, for four to start things off. Got a bit of a pillow fight brewing here, but they're going to get it going. Malcolm Brogdon with a bucket. Brogdon. The unique perspective of a big. Porzingis has great awareness and the ability to easily find the open man. Now here's Vassell taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. Porzingis grabs the board. Yeah, you have to knock those down. Open shots inside the arc are rare in this league. And the shot goes down. Oh, oh, oh. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Up top, Payne. Ten points in his last outing. Yep, count it. Cameron, and that Payne. ends their drought. You could feel the frustration building with each miss. Yeah, not the start that they wanted, but maybe that basket was all they needed to get to a little bit of a rhythm. Now, we know he can hit threes, but Chris Stapp's showing he can slam it, too. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. Yeah, they made a lot of plays, and they were in it until the end. Just couldn't do enough to get the win. And that is why coaches preach about the details. The margins in this league are razor thin. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Jalen Brown comes in for Pritchard. And let's take a look at the power rankings and see how these teams compare across the league. You look at Chicago, they're building some momentum right now and aiming for a spot in the top five. Seeing where the Celtics are, they've really lived up to the hype surrounding them this year, proving they're at the absolute top of their game. San Antonio trailing here. From deep, Wimbanyama. Porzingis grabs the board. 
Porzingis has got four rebounds in the game. Here's Brogdon. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. They're starting to pull away here as their shots keep falling. Yeah, the D is looking helpless to stop them right now. They're doing whatever they want to do on offense. Now here's Payne. He's looking good. Two buckets in three attempts. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He will gladly take those. Malcolm and that one good. Boy, absolutely no rim protection leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Payne, the pass to Collins. Wimbanyama with it. And San Antonio again with a bucket. You know, it's hard to believe a guy over seven feet is capable of moves like that. I mean, my goodness. And RJ, I'll tell you, Zach Collins, he is an instigator on the court. <laughs> yeah, the type of player you love to have on your team and hate on other teams. He does all of that hard nose stuff. Every quality team always has a player like him on their side where he just knows how to be a thorn in the side. Here's Payne. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his the first four attempts. Devin Vassell. The Celtics have gone an impressive eight of nine. Here's Porzingis. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Porzingis has got the second bucket. They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. Yeah, they're in control on both ends of the court. And it's always impressive when you build a double-digit lead in the first quarter. Now here's Wimbanyama. Fires at the elbow. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Benton, covered by Wimbanyama. Two points. Here we go. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Now here's Payne. He's got six. Goes up on the wing. Another shot. And Collins lays it up and in. Those are some hustle points. Really bonus points when you put in a miss. Left side, Brown. Over Johnson. Brown, no good. Well, the Spurs shooting just 38% so far in this one. And here's Payne outside. Rebounded by the Celtics. You know, they beat the Spurs during their last encounter in San Antonio. And they won that last game between these teams easily, hosting a scorching hot field goal percentage. Yeah, yep, that one goes. Oh. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Pass to Collins. From eight feet, Porzingis grabs the board. He just looks off this quarter. It looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. Brown passes to Porzingis. Over Wimbanyama. And it's Porzingis that time. Porzingis. On the assist from Brown. From Porzingis has got six. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. They came out and bum-rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. And so it's Boston up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. Defense is setting the tone. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Celtics? So far, they haven't had to force anything. They're swinging the ball around and turning good passing into points. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. On the court for San Antonio here in the second. Jetty Osmond out there with Reggie Bullock. Then it's Trey Jones, and it's Branham in a shooting guard. Bassey, pass to Bullock. And a nice finish Reggie on the layup. Bullock. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. 
Well, Boston's been a franchise that has sustained winning, Richard. Yeah, B.A., look, they've had down years like anyone, but they don't have down decades. And the Celtics, they've replenished as fast as any team outside of maybe their rival Lakers. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Here's Osman, averaging around five points a game. No good that time. Good work defensively by Brogdon. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Brown passes to Porzingis. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got three assists in the game. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Brown misses. And so it's Brown with it. He brings it up for the Celtics. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Here's Hauser. Misses off the right iron. It can be tough to find space in the mid-range area. Probably should have passed that one up. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, good things tend to happen. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Well, asked to compare his game, Victor Wembanyama said, I would hate that my game resembles any one player because that wouldn't be ambitious enough. My whole life, I've always tried to be one of one. I don't know where it comes from. I think I was born with it. I've always tried to be original. My goal is to be like something you have never seen, B.A. Wow. Mission accomplished there, Ali. Thank you. Just five on the clock. Here's Bullock. Boston with a rebound. Porzingis has got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Benton. Uses the glass on the layup. Benton's got six points. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. San Antonio calls timeout. All NBA players play with confidence. But, RJ, surely there are some that play with too much confidence. Well, look, there's always a guy who doesn't realize he's being left for a big round of applause. Some players just don't understand their role with their team. Usually there's a vet that needs to tell them how it is. The Spurs making a switch here. Brands checked in. Entertainment. And midway through the season, here's a look at the Western Conference standings right now. You look at the Spurs, so far this hasn't been the season they were hoping for. And time is of the essence. Checking out San Antonio, they hyped it up at the start of the year, but haven't really followed through. They're so Malachi disappointed. And really, so are their fans. Talking that talk is easy, but carrying through? Oh, that's a whole nother story. And the naysayers' predictions were basically on point. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's Boston with it to the paint. And that one's good. Poor Zingas. Poor Zingas. He's got 10. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. Pass to Branham. Shot from 12. And the bucket is good. Branham's got four points now in the quarter. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Outside Porzingis from the strike. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. And the Celtics lead by 16. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Pass to Bassey. The rebound, Celtics. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's Porzingis. Again, the Celtics. Good for two more. No, he's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. Now Graham. Still no points. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. And here now are the teams that have made a difference with their defense in the past 10 games. The Celtics, third. The Spurs, fourth. Both rosters filled with riverboat gamblers. These guys are looking to create turnovers every possession. One 
minute 57 left in the first half of basketball. Brissett's shot is good. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Great play by Porzingis. Love seeing the zinger engaged on D. And down it goes. Oh, Two points. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. And talk about consistency, RJ. Boston has made the Eastern Conference Finals five out of the last seven years. Yeah, that's pretty phenomenal, especially since some of their best players are still developing. I know a guy that thinks that they haven't been very good for a very long time. But I know what Celtics fans want. They want a ring. But they should still feel very proud of what this young team has accomplished. And the Celtics call time here. Richard, if you look at the culture in San Antonio, it's one of great integrity. Yeah, from the ownership to the front office to the coaches to the players, I had the pleasure of playing there for two and a half years, B.A. I don't know if they would say the same, but this franchise is 100% class. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Boston Zone, Celtics Entertainment. The Celtics have gotten eight of their first ten to go. Great shooting here in the second quarter. Hauser can't get it to go. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniffed that one out. Vassell, he's open. Boston with a rebound. They put up a nice win against Toronto last time out. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let Same. up at all. The coaches love that kind of showing offensively, especially on the road. The Spurs have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Vassell with it. Guarded now by Williams. The kick out to Johnson from the arc. Williams grabs the board. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for Boston. It's a 22-point lead, the most they've led by. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Wimbanyama. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Williams in the post. Collins defending. Williams' shot is good. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. Kristaps Porzingis is getting it done for the Boston Celtics. With that outstanding quarter, he's got a triple-double. Incredible. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Man, you're something cute. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. The first half mercifully coming to a close. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny's here. Shaq is here. There was no stopping Kristaps Porzingis in the first half. He had 14 points, 12 assists, and 10 rebounds. He's been a different player than he was in their last outing when he was off his game. He's rounded back into form tonight. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? And the game plan they went with the center around scoring inside. Pound that ball inside, pound it in the paint, try to get the high percentage shot. And because of this assertive attitude, they've got the edge where it counts on the score. Jack, what did you see from San Antonio? Well, they're not finding good shots, and that starts with their ball movement. Too much hero basketball. You need to sharpen up the attack. More motion, quick cuts, get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back with that. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. about ready for the second half here a big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive and it probably has to happen quickly it has been a clinic out there by Kristaps Porzingis yeah they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him and then of course executing I like how they came into this one with a game plan and they're just going out and executing it terrific job and as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. They've got Luke Cornett. 
Jason Tatum out there with Peyton Pritchard. Then it's Malcolm Brogdon, and it's Williams in at the four slot. That's the Boston Five. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game is going. Over the years, Tatum has limited the amount of mid-range jumpers that he takes, but it is still a natural part of his game. To the inside, Collins. And so he draws so the, the foul, foul, headed to the line Robert to shoot a pair. Williams, first personal foul, first team foul. At the line for the And Spurs. Boston calls time here. Zach. And something oh. fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded Boston. secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so it's often. Time. One for little tweak to the game plan and Make everything noise, falls man. into place for a team. He's checked in for Williams. Give them a hand. And looking at the last month's worth of action, here's a list of the best rebounding small forwards in the NBA. Number one, Jason Tatum. For all of his talents, what's really remarkable are those Take rebounding numbers. He really knows Two how shots. to make himself a presence in the paint. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws good for Collins. Here's Brogdon. Over to the wing. Here's Cornette. Collins with the rebound. And for San Antonio, they're shooting 32% for this game. Not what they're hoping for. Vassell passes to Wembanyama. Payne with it. Let's it go from deep. Yes! And it's Wembanyama picking up the assist. Payne's got nine. It's just one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an odd feeling. Here's Pritchard, defended by Payne. Shot from the wing, and that one off the back of the rim and in. Their success from mid-range has really set them apart today. San Antonio's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Payne, the pass to Wembanyama. Collins second chance effort and the layup is that up and in Collins. Collins has gotten four this quarter making the most of that possession unwilling to give up on the play and Pritchard here we go goes up and lays it in nice and easy a nice start to the second half they've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break down low Here's Wimbanyama. Oh, oh Wimbanyama throws it down. Assisted by and Wimbanyama can dunk it basically just standing up. you got to keep him out of the paint. Off the court, Cameron Payne has really put in the work to pay back the community. Grant, he was a very deserving recipient of the NBA Cares community system. Payne knows giving back is one of the best ways that you can spend your time as a player. Here's Payne. Rebounded by the Celtics. Next up on the schedule, the Nuggets. A home game. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Impressive. Their ball movement has been excellent tonight. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. He's checked in for Collins. Branham comes in for Johnson. And it's Jones in for Vassell. Right side, Jones. It's stolen by Brogdon. Porzingis up top. Here's Brissett. And the Celtics okay, tack on two more. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. 
Outside Payne. Tatum pulls it in. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, there will always be players looking to change teams, but Commissioner Silver said, quote, when a player asks to be moved, it has a ripple effect. Lots of other players are impacted by that as well. It's one of those issues that we intend to discuss and see if there are remedies for this. Brian, interesting to see what comes of those talks. Yeah, that is going to be interesting. All right, Allie, good stuff. Tatum passes to Porzingis over Wimbanyama. And it's Porzingis that time on the assist by Tatum. From Jason Tatum. Tatum's got five assists tonight. They're making it look easy out there, just having fun. Man, their offense Two is clicking. Players, coaches, everybody, Two they minutes. are in sync. 152 left in the third. And there's a three-second violation. We've seen more than a few miscues from them tonight. And if they want to come back in this game, look, they got to clean up those mistakes. Bassey, he's checked in for San Antonio. Graham comes in for Payne. Left side, Brogdon. Got it. Brogdon's got four points now in the quarter. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. To halt the run. Tipped. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Pass to Porzingis. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his seventh assist here tonight. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for Boston. They've been just suffocating on defense the whole game. Look at their Boston shot blocking. Foul. The opposition doesn't Boston have any room to breathe. Personal and we also got to talk about Second the number of points foul. they've scored in transition. Just Shooting jumping all San over Antonio. the opposition in this regard. Bullock, two shots. And he makes a first. You know, thinking about Reggie Bullock's activism off the court, it's hard not to be inspired by this guy, Grant. Yeah, very outspoken about important issues in the social justice space. And you know, B.A., this was why he was honored as the league social justice champion in 2022. Osman, he's checked in for San Antonio. Tatum! He's good. And very few teams rely on mid-range jumpers nowadays, but that's been their preferred way of finding points. To the middle. Here's Bassey. Nice Charles dish, Bassey. and the layup goes down. Goes Bassey's got a second Devontae bucket on the night. Ryan. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Here's Walsh. Another one falls for Boston. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Here's Osman. He's scoreless. Outside Graham. Denied by Tatum. The all-star Tatum engaged on defense. That's a scary sight for opponents. And that one's good. Poor Zingas. Zingas. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. San Antonio has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Here's Graham. Rebound Boston. Porzingis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Walsh. San Antonio with a rebound. When this one's over, they'll be off to Charlotte as they take on the Hornets. That's game three of five on their current trip away from home. And as we conclude the third, pretty much a blowout here. It's been a one-sided affair. Celtics out in front, running away with it. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So it's Boston now. 
All right, on the floor for San Antonio starting the fourth quarter. We've got Jetty Osman, also Doug McDermott out there, and it's Graham in at the shooting guard position. Here's Brissett. Another possession, okay. another okay. assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Here's Wesley, hounded by Tatum. And Porzingis with the block. Here's Brogdon. Soft touch off the glass. And so far, this game has belonged to Brogdon. He is showing no signs of slowing down either. Here's Wesley, hounded by Tatum. The shot by Wesley, no good. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. He's been playing great unselfish basketball, really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. His court vision has been on display in this one. He's doing a tremendous job just orchestrating the offense beautifully. Tatum with room to shoot, and another dime for him. Another possession, another assist. Man, is he sharing the ball well, hitting his guys right in their spots. On the wing, McDermott looking to win the run. And a great assist by Graham as that one goes. McDermott's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Pass to Porzingis. And here's Tatum. Over Graham, and again, another assist. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. I mean, keeping his head on a swivel, actively seeking out his teammates, incredible. Open shot, McDermott. The rebound by Brissett. There's no way that's the best look this offense can produce. And you couldn't get a better shot off? Like, come on, you got to make the extra pass. Like, being a teammate would be so fun. He's lighting him up. Tough to strategize a comeback when you're being run over. Here's Graham, and it's rejected. And as it goes out of bounds, San Antonio will keep possession. The Celtics making a switch here. Brown's checked in. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And they get it back. Right side, Porzingis. Again, the Celtics. Good for two more. Oh, my. Sinking yet another mid-range jumper. Inside. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Here's Brown. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. The mid-range is not an issue for Brown, and it's just another weapon in his arsenal now. Graham with it. Tipped away. And stolen by Porzingis. Pass to Brissett. 13 feet out. The rebound by the Spurs. Here's Graham. Here's Bassey, and the layup falls. Charles Bassey. Bassey's got four points this quarter. I just love when teams make it work down low. The Celtics have gone eight of nine here in the fourth quarter. And a lot of NBA players and former players are getting into film production. How rewarding has that been, Greg? You know, B.A., storytelling is so gratifying and also so very important. Players do have a voice like never before, and these ventures are just another way of expressing that voice. McDermott, the pass to Bassey. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. And R.J. Parity has been a league goal. Last season was as closely contested as we've seen in recent memory. Yeah, hopefully it's a sign of things to come, and with the new CBA, I think it will. While super teams do capture the imagination, go, I think a healthy competition is always for Boston Collins. He's checked in for San Antonio. Jones comes in for Wesley. Now a timeout called by Boston. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. And now let's 
take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Chris Stapps Porzingis. You'd think he was playing the one spot with all those assists. Now, coaches have to love a player on the floor who has that kind of skill set. It's made their offense that much more dynamic in this game. Oh, he's a crowd favorite. This building is never more alive than when he's at his best. And he was beyond at his best tonight. He had this place going crazy. Boston with the ball. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Hauser. Here's Williams. And the baseline jumper goes down. That's more than enough space for him to get that shot up. Here's Jones. Banton pulls it in. Boston on offense. Here's Hauser. Hits the target from 18 feet. That may be not the highest percentage of looks right there, but look, you can't argue with results, I guess. Pass to Bassey. The rebound, Celtics. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. Hey, Pritchard gets Watchers. it to go. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Celtics. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you Reggie relish as a player. Milwaukee. Just a Three very points. impressive win. And their efforts tonight pushed them to 41 wins on the year so far. And even though this season series was only two games, a sweep is still a sweep. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Kristaps Porzingis. And he was doing everything out there on the floor tonight. Triple-double on the stat sheet, and that doesn't even tell the whole story. Pritchard, the pass to Williams, and he makes it. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game, saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. And he gets it to go. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. It's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. Pritchard. Oh, the teardrop falls in. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Branham passes to Bassey. Jones up top. No luck on that one. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. And that'll do it, folks. So the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.